This box contains over 200 PSA graded cards, and we're going to be revealing the grades in this video. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. And as I said, a 200 card PSA return coming up right now, but we do have a giveaway. So I'll be giving away this Dimension Force first edition booster box. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your absolute favorite PSA graded card in this video. Maybe not absolute, maybe just your favorite or any other card that you want PSA graded. A few moments later. All right, after the tape nightmare that they used so much tape, like I don't understand the need for that much tape, but we have gotten everything out and you might be wondering, hey, is this like a an old bulk stuff from like two years ago because it's PSA you know there's no way you got 200 cards back like recently that's where you're wrong I actually sent these in in the July special July 2022 not 2020 not 2021 July 2022 for the $18 rate which I made a, a video on Rux and live these are the cards that are back it's like two months I think I sent them late July so it's literally late September so August, September, insane, like two months for 206 cards. So we have a very, very long video upcoming. I'm super excited about this. Let's go ahead and hop into them. I'm probably gonna have to cut even more tape to get into these. I did not make predictions for these because we had 206 cards. I'm not gonna bother doing a prediction for every single one. That would be like, you know, a five hour video, which actually would be fun. And even though it's only two months old, I don't remember what's in here. So we're just gonna have to go through it random. I don't think there's a lot of like commons or anything. So this might be like all foils and like really good stuff. So let's start off with the first one. Why does it seem so dark in here? Let's do that. that. That's a little better. There we go. Okay, we turn the light up a little bit. Let's see. We are starting off with, oh, look, a reprint blue eyes near Mint to Mint 8, which I'm not like after that last time, I wasn't surprised at all, but I still sent this guy in just to see what would happen. So we got a PSA 8. We're not surprised there because it's a reprint. I didn't send a lot of reprints. I think maybe a couple in here. So not too bad of a start. You know, we can't really expect anything. Honestly, expecting sevens on those. So an eight is not too bad. Let's see what this next card is. Okay, a reprint Dark Magician. Apparently, I did send a couple of cards. Dark Magician, this got the Near Mint to Mint 8, which is, you know, as we said, not that bad for reprints. Next card, let's see. We have Penguin Soldier, Gem Mint 10, right out of the deck, I believe. I think I pulled this out of the deck. The Red Eyes, I believe, also got a 10, so that deck did really well in terms of condition. Penguin Soldier, PSA 10 from Starter Deck, Joey. Very cool first edition card. So our first PSA 10. Here's another thing I'm worried about with this sub. No upcharges. I didn't get upcharged at all, so I'm like, does that mean we didn't get anything? good i mean we're gonna find out you know they seem to be a little bit inconsistent with the up charges so hopefully we got something good let's see oh yes this is one that i've wanted in my collection see yaru okay very nice so some of these cards will be added to the collection most of them will be for sale on instagram at ruxin 34 so go check that out maybe some will make it to my website ruxin 34.com that is sweet this one is not going to be for sale because this is a very cool dds promo so if you open dds box you might get your promos this is the bad promo, so you probably wouldn't open this box, but very cool. I really like that one. That's not such an iconic card because like this is the one that if you actually went and bought the game, this is the one you got. I think you had to like pre-order for the other good one or something like that. So uh, that's the one like I remember at least. Next card we have, let's just see. We have a ceasefire. Okay, it's missing part of the name. That could be why maybe it got a nine. It's also a little OC. Pharaoh Servant First Edition with a PSA nine. Not too bad. Pretty interesting to see that missing name. All right, so we've got our first nine of the video. So there's going to be a variety of like, like game promos, you know, old school first edition, you know, 10 promos, stuff like that. Reprints. We've got a Necro Valley PSA 9 right out of Pharaonic Guardian. I remember a lot of these foils I sent in were super nice because like I'd been holding them since like the COVID days when they were closed. OK, so hopefully we'll do pretty well. Let's see the next card. Dark Room of Nightmare. That got an eight. Oh, interesting. All right. So that's pretty interesting since this card was pretty nice. Pharaonic Guardian does have some like scuffing, you know, issues and stuff. So that could have been it. Dark Room of Nightmare. That's <laughs> that's unfortunate. Nightmare Wheel, this got a nine. Okay, that is definitely off center. So definitely not 10 worthy. Can't complain about a nine then. Pretty nice card. I have graded a nine of this before because I pulled this out of my very first Veronic Guardian box that I opened. Pretty cool ultra rare. Actually not that bad of a card like in old school games. You know, they can't attack. They get burned for 500. It's pretty good. Now we have a Mirage, another eight. Wow, they are they're a little bit harsh on these. A Mirage of Nightmare got an eight. Okay, that's pretty rough. Let's see what the next one will get. Come on, let's get something better than that. Oh, this got a nine. Oh, 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 never mind. This is off centered. I had a few of these. I think some of them were 10 worthy. This one is definitely not. If you check the centering, uh, this is why we set them at $18 rates because like, you know, it's off center. You know, it's not going to get a 10. So pretty decent nine. Actually, we can be happy with that. Let's see what the next one is. We got an Air Knight Parshat. Yeah, of course, way off center. Maybe I was hoping, you know, maybe an OC grade, which they don't really give out anymore. Maybe a nine would be nice. But this card is actually really, really minty. It's just super off center. This is probably a better candidate to send like CGC, BG something like that next we have another mystical space typhoon this one is better centered 
It's really not that bad. It's pretty close. Service is nice, man. That's a minty nine. All right, we might have to look at that one, see if maybe we want to send it somewhere else like CGC. Let's see what the next thing is. Book of Life nine. So, so far we have two tens total, which is not looking good. I know a lot of these cards were in great shape. They might not have been perfect. So I can't like be like, oh, they were all tens because they obviously weren't with the centering and stuff. And some do have scuffing on the back. Let's see what the next card is. Trap Board Eraser. A Pharaonic Guardian is getting destroyed right now. We haven't hit a 10 yet. It's all nines and eights. Statue of the Wicked, another Pharaonic Guardian card getting killed. Nine's better than eight, though. It's not that bad. Last turn. Okay, this is probably OC, wasn't it? Yep, very OC. Last turn from Legacy of Darkness. Legacy of Darkness, Pharaonic Guardian, terrible centering issues, especially Legacy of Darkness. But uh, Pharaonic Guardian has like weird scuffing, too, so it makes those really hard to grade. This card seems minty. What is it? A limiter removal. I think this was minty. The centering is definitely shifted that way a little bit. A little bit faded on this, but still nice. A couple cards left. So far, only two tens. Not great. Oh, and there's a nice one. Giant Trunade. That's a real nice 10 from uh, Magic Ruler. Very, very beautiful. So this is one of the best cards we've seen so far. So definitely nice to get this. I would say the cards we actually have gotten in 10 are pretty cool. Like Penguin Soldier, Giant Trunade, and Ciaru. All really good. And then the final card. Whoa, look at this back centering. This thing's going to do terrible. Yeah, an eight. Sasuke Samurai. Why, why did I even send this? Oh my goodness. Look how off-centered it is. This is like OC worthy. Look at the back. It's off-centered this way and this way. And then it's off-centered this way and this way. So it's literally awful. Like it's, it's literally awful centered. That was a terrible joke. All right, that's just the first one. We have many, many cards to go. So let's see what we can get. 18 bucks a card. We sent 206 cards. So it was like 3,000 something dollars. Pretty expensive. I mean, it's it's nothing to, to snub your nose at. It's pretty expensive to send these. So we're really hoping for some nice grades to actually get some value out of this. All right, next box up, we have a Banisher of the Light. All right, first edition. Maybe it's a little OC. No, it's not even really OC. I don't know what's wrong with this one. That one seems pretty good. Centering seems pretty good. I don't know what's wrong with that one. Maybe some surface issue. I missed next one the fade tax comes in again faded tax all right so look at this centered beautifully it's faded back seems very nice fade tax added again we have a near mitzvah eight that card probably a 10 worthy based on my memory but could be wrong let's see what the next one is it fade tax <laughs> All right, there's our five for the for the submission. Hopefully that's the only one. Is that bent right there? I think it might be bent right there. I mean, I'm not going to speculate on whether it was before or not because I really don't remember because there's so many cards, but I think it might be bent in that corner. Oh, well, you know, hopefully that's the only one that that happened. Uh, you know, got a terrible grade. We'll see. Oh, the Dark Graver. This is the one we pulled uh, with Old School Expert from Fan of Darkness a long time ago, and I finally sent it in. This was definitely a nine all the way. That's why I hadn't graded it yet. So I'm okay with a nine. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm definitely going to keep this card because it's not super high value, but it's just like an iconic, like memorable card for me. Like, because it, we pulled it with Old School Expert. It's a really, really nice secret out of that set. You know, we opened a really expensive box, lost a lot of money. So it's like, we got to keep the best pull. You know what I mean? All right, now we have... Oh, that would have been cool. 10 Zaborg the Thunder Monarch. That's a nine. Okay. Not, nothing too crazy. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that would have been a sick 10. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, definitely OC. So not really worth the 10. But Crystal Beast, Sapphire, Pegasus. That's a pretty card. Then we have a... Oh, that's cool. Elemental Hero, Flamewing Man. I think this is the one we pulled. When we opened the uh, Lost Millennium box and pulled the Ultimate Rare, Flamewing Man got the 9, which should have gone to 10, by the way. I need to crack that one and resub it. Then we got the Ultra as well in the same box. This one was super minty. I'm pretty sure that's where this came from. So that makes sense that it got a 10. I'm not surprised with that one at all. Next, we have a Ultimate Tyranno. This got a 9. Ultimate Rare, very cool, but not a 10, unfortunately. Next is the Fade Tax. Seven Tools of the Bandit. We're not, I mean, what do we even need to look at at this point? I mean, minty as crap. Oh, okay. Is crap minty? I don't know. Very minty card, but yeah, it gets the eight because it's faded, unfortunately. Double spell nine. We're going to see if we can even get a nine on a faded card. I doubt it. Next, we have Kazijin. That's only slightly faded. That's why this got the nine. Why did it get a nine? Man, you can really see the surfaces look good. How's the corners, maybe? Um, Yeah, that seems really nice. I mean, you just shift it up a little bit. Maybe you could say that. Pretty. Oh, that I was putting it automatically because it was a Metal Raiders card. Next we have, oh, there we go. I think this is one I pulled. I had one that I pulled, one that I didn't. I did pull one that looked like a Gem Mint 10, Leviathan Dragon Daedalus out of Invasion of Chaos. It was out of a blister, I think. It was like out of one or two packs. So this is actually sick. This is a really cool card because we pulled it. Very, very nice. Leviathan Dragon Daedalus. So we're up to five tens. Okay, not too bad. We're doing a little better this time. 
Oh, XYZ Dragon Cannon. This is one we pulled, I think, too, and it was... I th did we pull this one? Actually, I might have graded that other one and got like an 8 or something. This one seems pretty decent, but Magician's Force always has some stuff that you can't really see. All right, we have XY Dragon Cannon, a 9. All right, so the XY and the XYZ. We've got a Heavy Storm Fade Tax. We got an 8. Okay, nothing wrong with that card, I'm sure. We have a... Oh, Great Desire. There's a Pharaonic Guardian got a 10. Let's go. Pharaonic Guardian got themselves a 10. Whoa, look at that back centering. Definitely a little lenient on that part. Surface seems pretty good for Pharaonic Guardian, though. The front centering seems really good for Pharaonic Guardian. So, yeah, seems pretty decent. I mean, back centering, who cares? Oh, I really want to check this card out again. I remember looking at this card because I was considering putting it in my goat deck. And I was like, this card's way too many, mini. This card's way too minty to put into a goat deck. And it got an eight, naturally. Okay, unfortunate about that. We have... This is just because it's faded. This is so frustrating. Why did I even send these? I should have sent these to CDC, even though they kind of killed me too. But I could at least get like nines and 9.5s. Like with this, it's like sevens and eights are the best. This is the gray color. So of course it got a seven. Very unfortunate because it's minty, really minty. Oh, Amazon is Archer's 10. All right, Magician's Force. So as long as it's not faded, we got a chance. And then we have a Horn of Heaven. I didn't know I had two of these. Look, both sevens. And guess what? It's because they're faded. It's because they are faded. PSA, if you ever change anything, I want it to be that you grade faded cards like regular cards. That would be awesome. Please do that. All right, next box we have... Oh, there's a big one to start. All right, that'll change the mood a little bit. Faded cards, you know, wipe them away. We know they're not going to do well, so don't get irritated by them. Dark Magician Girl, Jim Mint 10 from Rise of Destiny. Very nice. I don't know why I sent those faded cards. I was just being hopeful. Next, we have a... Oh, look! A reprint got a 9 and it's a blue eyes? That's actually a sick grade. This must have been a super clean reprint. All right, we will take that. That is good. All right, this is all right. I'm feeling better now. Oh, and now an Elephantis. There we go with Metal Raiders. First edition. Beautiful, not faded. So we got the 10. We will take that. This is a great start to this box. We have, okay, 9 on the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Not bad. Then we have a Invader of the Throne. Who cares about that card? I mean, whatever. We don't need that card. Now let's get back to the 9s and 10s. Come on. Ooh, Barrel Behind the Door. That's a 10. Another Pharaonic Guardian 10. So Pharaonic Guardian's looking up. They started slow. They're looking up. Very nice 10. A Rope of Life from Pharaonic Guardian as well. A lot of these Pharaonic Guardian cards were missing the name, which I think probably hurt their grade potentially. All right, we got a 9. And then we have a another Dark Magician Girl that got a 9. That's okay. We got 110, 19. Not too bad. I don't remember how many of those I subbed. We have a Dark Paladin. Oh, no. Is this the one we pulled? Oh, wait, I see some edge. Yeah, I see some edge stuff going on there. We pulled this guy and he got an eight. That's unfortunate, but still a really sick card in OG print. I might keep this card because like it's probably worth like $30. So maybe 50. I don't know. I'll probably keep it. Let's see what the next card is. Visor Shock. Yeah, this thing. Look at the back centering. Oh, my goodness. It is terrible back centering. Missing the name. Yeah, I, I see why that got a seven. I can I can respect that. Missing the name takes away from the eye appeal a little bit. Like it's kind of gone away, but faded makes it look better. So I don't think it should should do that. Oh, Gar Gravekeeper's Chieftain. I'm sorry, Guardian Chieftain. Gravekeeper's Chieftain, super rare. That's a Gem Mint 10. We will take that. More Pharaonic Guardian stuff. Making a comeback, Pharaonic Guardian. Looking good. Now we have question 9 OC. We got the qualifier. No way. That's the first time I've ever gotten that. No, I got it once on a uh, Exodia limb, which was actually sick. I don't know why this one's like OC and some of the other ones are not because it is way OC. I'll give it that. But like, I guess it was like minty minty to get the nine. But then look at the name. So did they not care about the name on this one? I don't know how to interpret this, but that's a nine OC. That's really exciting. Like just because it's different, you know, I haven't had that happen only but once in all of my PSA returns. Okay, this has been a really cool box. Oh, this would be sick to get a 10. I don't have a 10 of the Don Zalug. Very cool card, though. Don Zalug. Pretty nice. Mint 9 is not bad. Let's see what's next. Fuchsia Richie also would be cool to have a 10. Don't have one, unfortunately, but 9 is still not bad. We'll take that. What is this? We got an OCG card? What is it? Asian English Monster Reborn? Where did I get this from? It got a 5. What in the world? What? Wait, why is it a 5? I don't even remember subbing this to be honest oh that corner's bent why did i sub this what a weird choice i don't know why i did that so i think the corner probably was bent already i don't even remember that card so probably was damaged uh mahavilo it's a nine okay we're slowing down where are our tens at come on come on oh hell palmer got the eight come on man hell palmer eight okay not too not too bad let's see what the next one is dark magician of chaos reprint got an eight that's pretty normal and now we have a 
Dark Magician of Chaos reprint 10. Look at this. Reprint. It's a reprint and it got a 10. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is this maybe a 2010 print or something? No, it doesn't seem like it. Well, I'm wondering how it got a 10. How did we get a 10? Maybe it is a 2010 print. We got a 10 on a reprint. That is awesome. I mean, I'm happy about it. Surprising, like really surprising. So when I opened that box earlier, I like accidentally saw the Dark Magician of Chaos and then like, I didn't really look, but I thought I saw a 10. I was like, that can't be right. Like that is a reprint card. So like, no, nah, we'll just see it later. It was a 10. That's actually shocking. Okay, we got a lot of cards to go. So hope you guys are enjoying it. How's the popcorn? Let me know in the comments. Is it really good? Let's see what else we can get. We have Delinquent Duo. Come on. Is it because it's faded? What is on this case? It looks like there's like fingerprints or something. You just see those like little like fingerprint looking lines. Weird. Okay. All right. A nine. Okay. Magic ruler. All right. What else? Giafried. It's a little faded. Is that why? It's slight fade. He got a nine. Man, it looks so good. A little bit off center on the back. Now it's just like I second guess every slightly faded card. It's like, is that why? Is that why? You know, you don't really know. Another nine. This one's not faded at all. So maybe there was something wrong with that. Okay. Unfortunate. Can we get a 10 of Giafried? I still don't know one of those. Okay, confiscation. All right. This is a PSA with my uh, faded cards in their eights, nines, and tens. Just a bunch of sevens. You know, that's me back there. Then we got, oh, Imperial Order. That's sick. A little bit OC. Yeah, I think that's why we submitted this in $18 rate. Got the nine. No big deal. Not surprised there. We have Trap Hole Legend of Blue Eyes. First edition. Oh, whoa. This has the, uh, this has a foil line. Normally they used to kill these. They used to give these like sevens. Wow, this has a foil line too. This is actually super nice. So we got a PSA 9 first edition LOB. I don't even remember submitting this. So not only is it first edition LOB, but it has a foil line, which is like a, an, a known error where it's like a line down the middle of the foil. It can be like pretty much anywhere. It's like a little bit different from a print line. It's not just a print line. It's like very defined and like kind of splits the foil. It's pretty cool. That's a pretty solid grade. We'll take that. Uh, Messenger of Peace, that's a nine. These are all a little bit faded Magic Ruler, which you don't see very often. Those are pretty cool. Uh, Mahavilo, another night. Man, Magic Ruler is not doing well. We've got like 110. Uh, Goblin Attack Force, that's a nine. Okay, can we get some tens, please? We have a Leviathan Dragon Daedalus. Maybe, I wonder if this is the one we pulled or if this is the other one. I'm just going to assume the one that we, you know, we graded at 10 is the one we pulled. All nine so far. Come on, let's get some. A four. It's bent. It's literally bent. <laughs> Why is it bent? Did I somehow miss that big of a crease? I highly doubt it. Because I got these, they were real minty. Oh, that is real bad. Look at it. It looks like, it looks to me like somebody did a little bit too fast. Maybe bent it, but oh well. I guess that's the risk sending in the uh, the lower value. You put it, you send in the lower value ones, you might get something happen to it. Because, wait, does it go all the way around? Like a, like a semi-circle there? You see this? It kind of looks like it goes like that. Well, it wasn't a four when I sent it, but now it is. So that's just how it goes sometimes when you're grading cards. A little bit of a risk skinning men because, you know, other people are handling your cards. It's not just you. So, you know, mail people, people grading it, people packaging it, all that stuff. Stuff can happen. So, oh, well, it's a four magic, magic jammer. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Raigeki. Wavy first edition Raigeki. Very, very. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have two of these now. Two wavy Raigeki nines. One day we'll get a 10. It'll be nice. Off-centered for sure. So it deserves a nine. We'll take that though. This tower of nines is massive right now. I, where do all these LOB cards come from? I don't remember grading so many LOB cards. Actually, no. Oh, I do know. This is from that collection uh, several months ago. I didn't grade them because I didn't think they were tens. Getting nines is actually awesome though. Flame Swordsman, I, is this? Yeah, this is wavy too. That is actually a really nice card. Okay, that's those are nice nines. Curse of Dragon, it's got an eight. Okay, unfortunate, but if those other two are better cards. This is probably the worst super of the three, so we'll take it as an eight. Still really beautiful though, it's wavy. Then we have, oh yes, Flare Neos. We did pull this one as well. So our, uh, our ultra rare elemental heroes are doing well. We've graded both tens. So we finally get to add another 10. It's been a while. Then we have, uh, yes, and then an Art Neos. We pulled this one as well. So we now have all the Ultra Heroes are being graded 10s. We're three for three now. That's beautiful. Red Eyes B Dragon out of a 10. Almost got a, wow, a nine is really strong for one of these. Yeah, getting a 10, as you guys know, when you open these old old T-I-Ns versus T-E-Ns. Yeah, when you open the T-I-Ns, it's much, much harder, you know, get really nice ones. This card was in great condition. So um, very nice with a nine. We'll take that. 10s are like insanely hard to get in the BPT cards. And we have a uh, premature burial. Man, we can't. Those Pharaoh's servant magical are getting killed. 
Uh, change structure. We got a seven. So how many four to sevens are we getting in here? Like way too many. All right, I don't even think we're halfway through yet. So we got a long way to go. This has been fun so far. You know, some disappointing, some exciting. So we're kind of, you know, the normal thing. Ah, it's a trap hole. So I like how these cards are everywhere. Like I know the DDS cards were right next to each other. Or they're they're not anymore. So we are two for two on DDS though with the acid trap hole. I love these game promos. They look beautiful. They're like the uh, the new Megatons uh, secret rares or whatever, but these look even better. Okay, we've got Revival Jam Eight. Okay. Okay, revival jam away oc wow that thing is off center okay that makes sense then we have a fairy meter crush like even these things that are off center i know that they're very minty cards so very quality like for the number they get uh nine on the fairy meteor crush wow we were okay pharaoh servant can you have some luck a painful choice Whew, man we are getting waxed right now i might have to make a second nine pile this thing's getting too tall i think we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay, we have a uh, painful choice, another nine. Okay, get used to it, it's a painful choice. We've got the Spellbinding Circle getting a nine, unfortunately. Lots of nines, we have a Forceful Sentry getting a nine. Man, they are not really handing out tens today. We have a Toon World getting an eight. Okay, eights, we have more eights than we do tens, which is always good to see. Another eight, Mystical Knight of Jackal. This is a rough one, this is a rough one. Uh, Axe of Despair, get it. Okay, we gotta look at some of these. Off-centered. That's it. Off-centered. That's pretty tough. Okay. Eight. Okay. Can we get something good, please? A nine? Okay. I guess we're happy about that. It's better than an eight. Better than an eight. Let's see what else. Ooh, B-Skull from BPT. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, B-Skull, as I said about BPTs, they are super tough. So getting these as nines is not bad at all. Tens is extremely hard. So we will take that. Then we have a delinquent duo. Man, we cannot buy a Magic Ruler 10. It has been rough. And we've got another nine. Man, how many? Is that three delinquent duo nines or four? That's a lot. And then we have a messenger of peace. We got a magic ruler 10. It's PSA bringing us the messenger of peace. Hey, peace offering. We will give you some tens. Here we go. Here's the messenger of peace 10. All right, we will take that finally. Finally, that took too long. Uh, then we have a mask restrict eight, man. Yeah, th I think that these LON, are, they're kind of weird too. So I, I see how it can get not such a great grade. Then we have a backup soldier that's trying to back us up, trying to give us some tens. And then our final card out of this box, another nine. So Magic Rule and Pharaoh Servant have not been doing well at all. Lots of nines. All right, next, let's see. We only got, I think, one 10 out of those 20. That was rough. So let's see if we can get some more chain destruction. That's a nine, slightly faded, of course. We have a Celtic Guardian, faded. So we got an eight. All right, unfortunate, but also off-centered. So uh, I don't know. Wait, it kind of looks like it's dented. That must be the sleeve because there's no way it would have got an eight then. We have a Super Vehicle Jumbo Drill. I've graded a bunch of these. See, I keep pulling these. I always get nines. So, unfortunate on that one. That would be cool to get a 10. Oh, that's cool. Perfect Machine King. On the ultra rares of like the, you know, the big cards and the sets were doing super well, like the Elemental Heroes and stuff. So, Perfect Machine King's really cool. We pulled that one as well of the Rise of Destiny box when we pulled that ultimate rare. Um, what's he called? The Monarch in Rise of Destiny. It's, why am I forgetting his name? Thessalos. There we go. Karibo, nine. Oh, this would have been a huge 10. This card's really expensive. It's like $700 in a 10, so that would have been big. We have a another Dark Neos, a PSA 10. So the, the Neos and the GX Ultras are really holding up our, you know, our decent stuff. We have a Song of the Thunder, an eight. Man, that's rough. Then a Harpy Lady Sisters. Man, I've had good luck with this. I've graded a few of these, probably like three or four overall. Harpy Lady Sisters, PSA 10. That's a very strong one. We will take that because it's not faded, so that's helpful. Next one is Kazunian Faded, so I got an 8, of course, naturally. Then a uh, Sangha, let's go! PSA 10, Sangha of the Thunder. Let's go, we will take that. Our 10 stack is now like one behind the 8 stack. Can it make a comeback? Let's go. Tribute to the Doomed. Yes, Metal Raiders, bringing us back, baby. All right, let's go. Can we get another one? Okay, there's a 9, slightly faded, okay, but still pretty cool. And then we have a bear. Oh, come on. That would have been so sick. I still don't have this card in PSA 10. It's an eight. So, uh, yeah, it uh, doesn't seem to be off centered. I don't know what the deal with this one is. Corners seem to be pretty good. Service seems to be good. I'm going to have to crack that one, figure out what the deal with that is. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, Karibo, super faded. Such a nice card. Got an eight. Oh, painful. Okay. Swords of Feeling Light. There's another LOB card that I forgot about. We have a Ring of Destruction. I would love to get this in 10 one day, but Friday Guard, we've already talked about, very difficult to grade. Lava Golem, I do have, do I have a 10 of that? I don't think I do. I've pulled a bunch of them. I keep not grading 10s. Another Super Freighted Karibo got an eight. That's just painful to see. And whoa, Toon Mermaid, let's go. Toon Mermaid, that's a big one. 
I don't actually own this. So Toon Mermaid uh, Ultra Rare. That is beautiful. Really nice. Toon Mermaid. We're taking that. That's a solid grade right there. Okay. That was a lot better. We got a lot of 10s there. I can be happy with that box. All right. I think the last one we actually were at the halfway point. So let's just keep going. We have the uh, Magician's Force. A very nice. Why Dragon Heads? An 8. Not, not very nice, actually. A 9XZ uh, Tank Cannon. Magician's Force. I would love to get a 10. That'd be great. I mean, I don't think we're going to, but we'll see. Oh, this is sick. Neo Space and Air Hummingbird. Wait, this is the one we pulled out of the Ston box. Wow, that is super nice. Ultimate Rare Air Hummingbird. Gem Mint 10. Okay, here's a big one. We'll take that. That's super nice. Next, we have Heavy Storm 9. Man, come on. I want a Heavy Storm 10. I still don't have one. We have a Kaiser Glider. Okay, the Glide of the Kais. Let's go. That's a PSA 10. We have a, yes, a heavy storm. I graded so many of these. We got the gym at 10 and look at this. This one looks weird. It almost looks like a reprint. It's really strange how light it is. It's like a weird fade that makes it look like a reprint. I don't know. So there's our heavy storm. Metal Raider Supers really add into the collection right now, which is nice. Okay, next up is, oh, the Speed Duel Dark Magician Girls. I graded a bunch of these. Maybe we'll get a 10 super rare on one of them. Okay, we have a Korean Blue Eyes. All right, got a nine. That would have been cool if we got a 10. We have a there we go. Speed Duel Dark Magician Girl PSA 10. Very nice. We will take that. Let's see if we can get another one. Uh, Stardeck Joey. So here's another Stardeck Joey card. I don't think this is the one from the deck because I think I graded that one already. Then we have a nine. All right. Nice. We have a another nine. OK, maybe we probably only got one ten. Let's be honest. What's the next one? Oh, there it is. The UFO Roid from Cybernetic Revolution, guys. The 4,650 bucks to pull this ultimate rare, and it doesn't even get the 10, it gets the 9. So UFO Roid, unfortunate. All right, and then we have another 9 of the Dark Magician Girls. So those kind of got killed, but we did get 110. Let's see what else. Wait, we have more. Another 9. Okay, lots of 9s. Then we have a... Ooh, Master Collection 1, Exodia the Forbidden 1. That is super cool. So this was a promo in Master Collection 1. It's a really cool item. And it was one of the six promos you got, Exodia. It's a secret rare, which is really, really cool. So Jim Mint 10, that's a nice 10. I will take that. Very, very nice. Last one of this box is Dark Necrofear got the eight. We'd rather have the Exodia anyway, let's be honest. Back at it, we have a Nobleman of Cross Out. The Nobleman has crossed out tonight. I don't have that in 10 either. Let's see what else. Another giant true we got a 10. That's super sick. Two giant true nade 10s in this submission. I will take it. Then we have a Salamander. So all three DDS promos got 10. That's actually pretty sick because these are all really, really nice looking, uh, really cool looking sword. So we will take that. All right, DDS, I see you. A little redemption. Confiscation. Magic Ruler is back, baby. So yeah, let's go. A little bit of a streak here we're starting on. Uh, Snatch Deal. That would have been a big one to get a 10. That would have been a big one. Let's see what else. Toon World, that's another big 10. I don't think I actually have this. I may have graded one before, but I definitely didn't keep it. So I now have one. We have a Forceful Sentry. It's a nine. Ah, okay, okay. The nines, lots of those. A nine on the Invader of the Throne. Okay, nobody cares about that card. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, Black Lusion Ritual, got an eight. Very, very not cool. I was gonna say cool, it's not cool. Oh, Invader of the Throne, I love this card. Coolest card ever, PSA 10, baby, let's go. All right, Invader of the Throne, pretty sick. Let's see what's next. Parasite, Parasite, all right. It's a nine, it's a little faded. Yeah, what do we expect? Grave Robber 10, so we're starting to hit some 10s again. Okay, it's really lining up here. Okay, Call the Haunted, got a nine. Man, where the, can the Ultras get a 10, please? It's all supers. All right, that's a cool card, but didn't get the 10, unfortunately. Then we have a Black Lucian Ritual. That also didn't get the 10. Come on. Ceasefire, also a nine. Man, we have a lot of nines. Uh, Salamandra, wait, did I have two sets of these? So that one got a nine. Interesting for the DDS promo. Lava Golem nine. Okay, I expected all nines on the Lava Golems. They're a little bit off-centered. I guess I had two sets of these. So it looks like we're going to get one 10 set. Oh, this is like a big old... That might be this, just a secret rare. Okay, so that one didn't get a 10. Interesting. And then we have a Sasuke Samurai. The last one was like super OC. So that one uh, got the nine. All right, the nine stacks are massive right now. Three more boxes. So still a lot of cards to go. Let's see what we can get. We've got a thousand eyes restrict from Master Collection. Okay, that's sick. So we got this and we also got the Exodia head. So we're doing pretty well at those Master Collection promos. We will take that. Then we have Dark Ruler Hades. He did not get the 10. That's okay. We like Thousand Eyes and Exodia are the best ones anyway. Oh, the Korean Trihorn got a 10. So Korean Trihorn Secret Rare. Very cool. 
Then we have a Exodia Korean. All right. Uh, I pulled these forever ago. Or maybe I got them in a collection. I don't remember. Red Eyes got the 10. Yeah, they're all very new. So pretty easy to grade. Uh, Amazon Swordswoman got the 9, unfortunately. We've got a Embodiment of Apophis. This is a super from Dark Legends. Pretty cool hollow because it's not really a hollow in anything else, I don't think. So pretty cool 10 there. Pretty unique to get those Dark Legends 10s because not a lot of people have graded them before. Then we have uh, Mystic Swordsman level six. These ultras from the GX and like mid sets like uh, Rise of Destiny. I don't mean mid is bad. I mean like between GX and like original. So very cool. Nine Degenerate Circuit. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. We have a Grand Neos. Oh, we finally failed and missed one. No, oh, this is a Collector 10 one, that's why. But Elemental Heroes were doing so good before that. Oh man. We have a Blade, oh, Blade Knight, sick. This is from the Collector 10, beautiful. You'll love to see this. That's really, really nice. All right, Blade Knight, that's a very good 10. We will take that. Allure Queen level seven. These, these uh, ultra rares from Cyber Dark Impact. Nice, from the GX sets. We have, this is from the Cybernetic Revolution box. <gasps> we got a nine on the UFO Roid and an eight on the Crystal Core. Like, come on, man. This box can't, st wow, look at, look how cool that looks in the light. It's like the laser is like actually like shooting. That looks amazing. Low key kind of like this card in the, the ultimate rare. That is beautiful. But an eight, that is pretty rough. <laughs> Knock on wood, no sevens or below in a while. So uh, power bond, let's go. This is from Cybernetic Revolution, baby. We got something good. We pulled this one out of the box. So we actually got something decent. A power bond ultra rare. Man, those ultra rares are doing really well because they're just easier to create because they don't have like the ulti stamping and all that weird stuff you have to worry about. Cyber Twin, that would've been cool, even though it's only a super. We have a Skilled White, that's an eight. Okay, not too good there. We have a Dark Ruler Hot Desk. That's the LOD version, that would be a really nice 10. Okay, and then a Skilled Dark, that's another nine. Man, the nine pile, there's two piles as tall as the 10, actually taller. And then a, oh, a YZ Tank Cannon, that'll help with the, uh, that's our first Magician Force 10? I think it is, out of this uh, grading at least. Two boxes to go. This has been fun so far. Overall, not a bad submission so far. I mean, we're doing all right. We've got a, a faded card. Okay, yeah, we, we know. Oh, hopefully it's not all faded because that's going to be a problem. Oh, a Catapult Turtle. I need this one. I think my Metal Raiders set is like really getting close at this point just from all these super rares because I didn't like really keep the super rares like super hardcore, but I now I have most of them, I think. We have a, oh, come on, I already have a 10 of that, so it's not a big deal, but the, the stacks are so high, you can see my hand when I'm putting, I need to make a third nine stack. Okay, we're gonna scoot this over. I'm gonna make a third nine stack. We have a Axe of Despair. Come on, give us the 10 Axe of Despair. That'd be nice. We have a Axe of Despair. We're gonna get another nine Axe of Despair, two in a row. We've got a Faded, oh, man, these Faded ones are rough. We have a, there we go, seven tools. I need this one. So I'm officially on Metal Raiders. I had five out of 10 Ultra Rares graded 10. I now have six because this adds to my five that I already have. Okay, there's math for you. I know, very difficult. Now I need Barrel Dragon. I need, I think I need Horn of Heaven. What else do I need? I need a... Uh, there's two, what, two other ones. What are they? Change of Heart and Time Wizard. That's all of them. That's the four I need. So that is a sick pickup. Even though seven tools, I've almost bought it multiple times. It's not that expensive, but I decided to wait. There's our seven. Okay, we got the faded one. Gets a seven, unfortunately. Then we have a Catapult Turtle. Gets a seven. Faded cards. So you'd love to see it. We have an eight. I don't know why this is an eight. This is a seven. Maybe, I don't know. Don't really know. We got an eight on the faded cards, unfortunately. Hopefully no more faded because we're getting killed on those. Another eight. Okay, more faded. Um... More faded, we're getting eights, this is great, this is awesome. We have another eight, come on, this is killing me. We have a eight, man, I don't I don't like cracking cards, but um, they're, they're forcing my hand. Yes, Fiend Mega Cyber, let's go. PSA 10, I had graded this a long time ago, sold it to my friend Gezi TCG to help complete his set of every single foil from LOB to AST first edition graded. So he, he has all of them now, which is insane. Okay, what's next? Relinquish nine from SDP. That would have been pretty cool, but we didn't get it. We have a Air Knight nine. We're getting closer on the Air Knight. It's a tough one to grade, but it's better than an eight. Uh, Toon Summon Skull, we got a nine. And then we have a Megamorph 10. Let's go. We got a 10 for Megamorph. Let's go. We will take that. Our 10 stack's getting pretty high. Looking nice. All right, our final box. As we're getting into the final box, I will say I am pretty happy with this overall the only thing i'm just i'm not really disappointed because i should have expected the faded cards to not do well i wish they would grade them better but we know from multiple videos if you've watched them before they're not going to grade those they're going to give them sevens to eight so I, it was my fault for submitting them but the rest of the sub i'm pretty happy with i think some of the nines maybe could have been tens but we've gotten a decent amount of tens it's a pretty good one so i can't complain 
What's the next one we have? Uh, Megamorph. I say I can't complain, but I've been complaining half the time, so that's just how it goes. Sometimes, you know, you get you really get into these PSA returns. You're like, man, I really wanted the 10. You know, it just happens. Uh, and speaking of 10s, we got another Megamorph. So I now have two of those. I would like to get an Axe of Despair or something instead. Can I trade? <laughs> we have the, oh, Insect Princess. I think I pulled this. Didn't I pull one of these recently out of IOC? Like, not recently, but sort of recently. That's actually pretty sick. That's the card that you always pull out of IOC somehow. Then a, uh, ooh, Judgment of Anubis. That's pretty nice out of the Seeker Rare collection. Okay, Judgment of Anubis from Dark Crisis. I did not have that. I want to make another 10 stack. Very, very nice. Oh, another Skull Archfiend of Lightning? You got to be kidding me. I've now graded one. The one I had before I bought. So maybe I'll keep this one and sell the other one as an extra. Maybe I'll keep both. Who knows? One of my favorite cards from Dark Crisis. Really nice. Where did I get these Dark Crisis cards? I can't remember. <laughs> Double spell, Magician's Force. Okay, this is a lot of 10s. They're really schmoozing us at the end to make us feel really good about it. We've got the spell canceler. Okay, there we go. We're canceling the happiness. No more. No more 10s. Nightmare Wheel. That's actually sick. Pharaonic Guardian, baby. Lots of 10s to end this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this last box. Okay, Guardian Sphinx got a nine. Okay, we can chill out a little bit. We've got a Guardian Sphinx eight. Okay, no big deal. It's just for Guardian Sphinx. No big deal. Uh, Mage Power got a nine. All right, now we're now we're slowing down, but those were pretty nice to end. Toon Summon Skull. This is a good one. Toon Summon Skull and Toon Mermaid in this video. Very solid Magic Ruler. Okay, Magic Ruler didn't do that hot at first, but there we go. Really, really coming in at the end. Okay, Marauding Captain. That would be a nice one to get a 10, but not this time. We've got another one. Oh my gosh. Another Toon Summon Skull. Did we pull one of these? I can't remember. I think we might have pulled one at some point. I don't I don't remember. I, I had a lot of magic ruler cards to grade. So two tens in a row. That's pretty good. Time Dragon, of course, got the A because Legacy of Darkness. I mean, naturally. Then we have a yes, last warrior. I don't think I have this. The last warrior from another planet. PSA 10. This is one of the last time with the nightmare cards that I like really, really want. You know, like unless I just go for all of them. I mean, it's still need Gemini Elf. But in terms of like the ultra rares, I have already have like the Necro Fear, the Mass Beast and all that. There's another one, I think. This is sick. I just like punched it. That is a really cool card. That's one of the coolest cards we've graded so far. That is amazing. This is a really great last box. We have a Royal Command, pretty nice card as well. Oh wait, that's a nine, not an eight. Two more cards to go. We have Goblin Attack Force 10, let's go. Wait, and I picked the right box to end on. Like they weren't in any sort of order that I noticed. I just kind of picked them up. Final card, I hope you guys have enjoyed this long video. We didn't spend as much time per card because like, you know, there's a lot of cards here, 206. I was happy before this box. I'm really happy. I think this really ended well. Let's see how it'll end. And a Mana Core of Darkness, PSA 10. I mean, you can't get better than that. We just like half of those last 20 were 10s. That's insane. So I definitely feel pretty decent about this. I don't know what I'll do with my faded cards. But maybe we'll crack those and just put them into a binder because they just don't grade them like well anywhere. And like they're really appreciated by the Yu-Gi-Oh community, not so much the grading stuff, but rest of them pretty happy with that. I really enjoy doing these long videos. I don't really have anything to sub to PSA like in bulk anymore. So we'll have to build that up and like get another submission going. But this came back in like two months. So props to PSA for really getting on it and like returning people's cards recently, which is really awesome. So you'd love to see that. They also have a $22 rate out right now. So if you want to do like bulk like this, you could do it for $22 each, which isn't 10 like it used to be or eight or seven, but it's still not like a 50 or a hundred anymore. So it's a lot better. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content, more return videos and stuff like that. And let me know what other kind of grading stuff you'd want to see. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tonefo Show, Ananda High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What is this? What? What is this?